Hi, it's Dwyer, digitalassetlife.com, always 1776.com, both free sites. Today is May 23rd, 2021. Right now, cryptos almost across the board are getting killed. Bitcoin is down around $33,000 a coin, right, for example. Let's talk crypto, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. What I'm saying here today is being offered for entertainment purposes only. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, right? I want you to independently research everything you do. Please do not construe anything I say here as financial advice. Now, I like to make videos on days like today, right? When it's uncomfortable when crypto is losing money, when it's not fashionable to say, I'm into some crypto, right? Well, let me just say, I'm into some crypto. Um, I know Jim Rogers disagrees with me because he feels ultimately the group with the guns will dictate what happens. And let's face it, the governments running these so-called independent central banks are the ones with the military firepower. Okay, fair enough. He's not heavily into crypto. In fact, he believes that the fiat regime will ultimately prevail. But where I do agree with Jim Rogers is he talks about his best investments. And he says it's like being in a room where you look up and there's money sitting in the corner of the room. And so you just get up, walk over to the corner of the room, grab some of it, and go back to where you were sitting, right? That's today, folks. Let me just say, um, the bull case for Bitcoin, for example, for Dash, is as good, in fact, it's better than it's ever been. We didn't have this level of institutional money in the space before. We didn't have outfits like Square, like Fidelity, being involved in the space. We didn't have several groups, several, this close to having a Bitcoin ETF approved in the United States, and we didn't have Bitcoin ETFs in Canada. So in terms of the infrastructure, Crypto has never been better. As far as I'm concerned, at the end of this year, and I'm not one for timing, right? Markets really time themselves. They have a life of their own. But I personally will be surprised if at the end of this year, Bitcoin is not in the six figures. Let me just say, um, I see the numbers for Dash today and they're terrible. Right? I see the numbers and I'm thinking, my goodness, has Dash ever been this good of a bargain in recent years? Right? I think Dash represents compelling upside here, as does Bitcoin. Let me also back up and just give you my lay of the land. I know many of you disagree with me. I encourage people to read the comments to earlier videos. I believe the best crypto investments you can make, in my opinion right now, are Bitcoin. Certainly, that's the best, in my opinion, because that's the granddaddy of them all, right? That's the coin that has the huge institutional interest. That's the coin that has people buzzing about a Bitcoin ETF. Also, it's a finished product. We're not hearing nonsense about Bitcoin 2.0, right? I understand there'll be some refinements, but right now it's a store of value. People understand that. Now, if you want a store of value that's a little bit more usable as a means of exchange, that's where Dash, also a limited supply cryptocurrency, you know the amount of Dash that's going to be produced, enters the fray. I like those two coins. Let me also say, too, I love privacy coins, right? Monero, Horizon, I like those coins. Pirate Chain, 
right? Let me add that Litecoin has me intrigued because they're about to get with the Mimblewimble protocol and be private. Also, what I like with Litecoin, which used to be considered the silver to Bitcoin's gold, is the fact that Litecoin has a limited supply, right? The supply matters. The coin I think is overrated is Ethereum, right? I've heard from the Ether Nation here online. Right, one person flatly said, "Oh, you didn't get in on the IC the ICO wire and stuff like that." Look, I've may have owned Ethereum longer than most of the people watching my videos. Right, I've had Ethereum a long time, but understand, Ethereum is not a finished product. That's why you have Polygon doing as well as it's doing. Research that coin. It used to be called Matic. Right. That's why you have some of the developers of Ethereum coming up with Cardano, Polkadot, Kusama, right? Right now, Solana is making a lot of headway. If you've used Ethereum and you've tried to do some transactions, maybe like me, you've thought to yourself, you've got to be kidding me. The transaction costs are what? Understand, I'm a Dash person. I'm not only accustomed to very low transaction costs, but I'm accustomed to mind-blowingly fast transaction speeds. I don't see that with Ethereum. So let's say I'm holding on to Ethereum because, right, I don't want to be right. I want to make money, right? I, I understand folks are making money on Ethereum. But Ethereum's shortcomings have opened my eyes to things like the Binance Smart Chain, Pancake Swap, right? Uh, BSC Pad, what Binance is doing. I understand it's not decentralized, right? I get it. I was originally attracted to cryptocurrency because it was decentralized, because I wanted to disintermediate archaic central banks and regular banks, right? By the way, that's going to happen, in my opinion, over time. But I do feel that you have a distinct advantage in terms of transaction speeds with Binance Smart Chain and costs over Ethereum, right? When I go into a store, I want to buy stuff today. I don't want the person behind the cash register to tell me, oh, you know what, we're developing what you want to buy, and it'll come out down the road, and you just have to trust us, even though you're overpaying for layer one transactions today, right? And even though our competitors seem to be ahead of us, that's the story with Ethereum right now. Right, so I'm looking elsewhere. As I've pointed out in countless videos, right now, Kraken is paying you 12% interest if you stake Polkadot or Kusama on the platform. Right, I believe that's a great deal, especially on days like today when crypto's down. Right, get the 12%. Well, understand their investments. That's where you somewhat understand the technology you're investing in. And you say, you know what? This is going to make it. I see the market. I understand it. Right? Dash in Venezuela. Bitcoin use in Venezuela. I see it. It's happening. Dash is being used as a means of exchange. You do a transaction. It's quick. Right? I get it. But then there's speculations where you hear the concept and the concept is so mind-blowing that you think to yourself, you know what, I'm not exactly sure how this works. But if they pull it off, this is going to hit 10x, 20x, 30x. This might be the kind of almost annuity that an Amazon is. Well, in the crypto space, there's a speculation I'm into, and I've thrown some money at it. 
right? It's called Internet Computer. Folks, it's already in the top 30 in market cap in all of crypto, right? Internet Computer. Now, if you're interested in this, and the upside is huge, I would encourage you to go to Definity.org. That's the foundation behind this cryptocurrency. Definity is spelled D-F-I-N-I-T-Y, right? And it's a dot O-R-G, dot org, right? Definity.org. And there, they're pushing what seems to be a very well-financed project, and it's a long-term multi-year project. The Internet Computer, where they're claiming that the old internet, which is the current internet that we have, has flaws. And that through tokenization and this technology, those flaws can be corrected. Right? I'm going to read a passage from the website. It's interesting. As I've said, this crypto seems to be much better financed than most. Has some big names behind it. Seems to be gaining market cap, right? Here's from the divinity.org website. The internet computer makes it possible to build websites, enterprise systems, and internet services by uploading software into a seamless open universe where it runs securely and can easily interact with users and other software. By contrast, Builders using the legacy IT stack must roll their own platforms by selecting from a multitude of commercial cloud services, cloud tools, proprietary and open source variations of operating systems, components such as databases and firewalls, virtualization technologies, software development platforms, and more. The resulting complexity the highly customized nature of the systems assembled, the special developer knowledge needed to maintain them, and the associated vendor relationships makes it expensive and difficult to migrate and adapt legacy systems as needs change. Right? What the internet computer is in essence telling you is that they are a seismic upgrade to the current legacy IT stack that will result in more nimbleness and more market responsiveness. As I said, this is a speculation. It'd be incorrect for me to claim that I fully understand the quantum leap being suggested here. Right, But what I am saying is things are developing so fast, so fast, in the cryptocurrency world. And down the road, we're going to call it the tokenization world. Right, Because what will happen is different technologies, the only thing they'll have in common will be the fact that they're tokenized, will be operating in the space. Right? Well, we don't realize how limited the Internet is until we start talking about the different blockchains, about the traffic jams on the Ethereum blockchain, for example, and how that's led to high transaction costs on things like Uniswap. Right? Well, let me just say I'm intrigued here by the idea of an internet computer, what they're calling a seamless open universe. That's not today's current legacy IT stack. I'm intrigued. Ironically, in this down market, the internet computer is doing better than most of the other cryptos. As a speculation play, I've thrown some money at this technology, right? When I see a well-financed multi-year technology that has actually delivered in the marketplace for the brief time it's been in the marketplace, 
that draws my attention. So I'm taking a hard look and I've thrown some money at the internet computer. Again, for more information for those who want to do their own research, look at divinity.org. D F I N I T Y dot O R G. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.